I shot Erling a questioning glance. He waited, holding up a hand for silence. Then, with a quick grin, he pointed to the ground. Swinging himself down from his branch, he stilled down the vine and landed softly at the base of the tree. Jenna clambered down from her tree too. Are you sure? It's safe, Hannah begged. Suppose so, I replied, carefully easing myself down from the branch. I clutched tightly to the vines, covering the tree trunks, making sure I didn't slip and fall. The last thing I wanted was for the hideous creature to come back, ra come racing back. Hannah climbed down from her hiding place and Erling signaled for us to follow him. He moved silently through a patch of long grass, pausing now and then to listen to the forest sounds. Within a few paces, he reached a stand of wild bamboo. He stopped and drew us closer. I think we are safe, he whispered. Do you know your way home from here? Sure we do, Hannah told him. There's a hotter center nearby and a main road. We'll be okay, she hesitated, frowning with concern. But what about you? I want to make sure that a wild beast doesn't try to follow you. A link glanced back over his shoulder. You better go now while you can. But we can't just leave you here, I protested. You are our friend, Erling. Why don't you come home with us? Jenna seized his arms. His arm, you have to. And I put his other arm. Mom would love to meet you. But, and I am sure there's plenty of food left at our party. Do you like Halloween pizza? Before Erling could answer, the savage beast leaped out from behind the tree. It licked its lips. Its eyes slitted. A low growl escaped its throat, and I knew we'd never see home again.